Hey Savers, I wanted to go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Miss Grizel. Um, I want to welcome you all back. I know it was a crazy end of your year last year. I know this summer has been a little wonky, um, but we are so excited at Streamwood to welcome you, to have you guys coming in, um, both virtually and then hopefully in person soon. Um, so, I wanted to create a little slideshow. Um, I am your librarian. I hope we get to meet soon. Um, on this slide, I have my email address. We also have an Instagram and a Twitter specifically for the library. Um, I will let you know I am very good at Instagram. I am still figuring out Twitter. Uh, so please bear with me if you have any uh, tips and pointers, they're appreciated. So to introduce myself, so again, my name is Miss Grizel. Um, I included in here, my new name is going to be Mrs. Mydell. I'm actually getting married in a couple months. So depending on when we meet, you may know me as Miss Grizel. You may know me as Mrs. Mydell. I will respond to either one. Um, I am a U46 graduate. I went to Elgin High School, graduated from there. I have also worked at South Elgin High School, Bartlett High School, and then I went back and worked at Elgin High School, but I've been at Streamwood for two years now and I am incredibly happy and I love it here. Um, I am a proud Hufflepuff. If you are into Harry Potter, I am incredibly invested in Harry Potter. Um, some of my hobbies include reading. I really enjoy crafting. I love watching the Cubs. I'm kind of um, in mourning right now that baseball season is not necessarily what we expected it to be, but we're making do. Um, I'm also a cat and a dog mom. I have pictured here my dog, Captain, and my cat, Cat Benatar, or Benny. Um, on the left side, you can see a picture of me and Mrs. Podzamski, or Mrs. P. She is my para, um, so she will also be in the library, and you may be meeting her as well. So, because we are going to be starting the year distance, we're not going to be in person, I want you to know that you do have things available to you from the library. The first is our massive collection of ebooks and audiobooks. Um, I'm going to be meeting with all of the freshman classes, so I will walk you through how to log into Access 360 if you did not learn um, this in middle school. If you're new to the district, or you're new to the area, I will be walking you through that. So don't feel like you are far behind, or if this looks really crazy and you're not sure what you're looking at, do not fret. Um, we are also working on a way for you to check out the actual books from the library. Um, I'm working with the other librarians right now in the district to figure out a way for you to be able to do that. So stay tuned for information about that. But I wanted to start with this because I don't know about you guys, but I have made through my Netflix queue like 20 times and I can only watch The Office so many times before I'm incredibly bored. So I have even started checking out ebooks and audiobooks just to break up the monotony of that. Once you start classes, um, you are going to be doing research in some of your classes, whether that's a formal research paper or whether that is just, hey, look something up, um, but maybe don't use Google. So these are different databases that you have available for you. Some of these may look familiar. You may have used these in middle school. Some of them may be completely new. That's okay. Again, this is going to be something that I go over with you in class. I will set you all up with your accounts. I will give you all the passwords that you need. I will show you how to navigate the whole darn thing. Um, so don't feel like you have to start taking notes on this or you have to write this down. But just know that a lot of our um, things and materials that you have available to you are online. So the whole distance learning aspect of this is not going to hinder that. You're actually in a really good place. So now I like to talk about the fun stuff. Once we go back in person and we get to meet and we get to see what each other's faces look like, um, I host a ton of events in the library. Usually every month we've got something going on, um, ways for you to get involved, ways for you to meet new people, ways for you to learn about all the different resources that we have, because the library is not just a place that holds books that get dusty or where I sit up at a desk and I shush you for talking louder than a whisper. So I included a couple pictures of what we um, were able to do last year. We had students participate in Band Books Week where they took their mug shots. 
we did a whole um, Dias de los Muertos activity where students came in and did origami. They created altars for loved ones. They created flowers. Um, but my favorite was holidays at Hogwarts where it was a two week event. Students came in, we participated in a whole bunch of different activities, tri-wizard tournaments, um, wand making, they made their own fantastic beasts. We do a lot of breakout EDUs, which are essentially little mini escape rooms in a box as well. So I cannot wait for us to be back in person so that we can do all of these fun things together. Um, on the right, it says book clubs, digital and in person. So we're going to be starting different book clubs. I'm going to kind of go off of your input, whether this is a book club that you want to all be reading the same book, and I can get you copies of a book, or if you want to be reading different books, and then we come together and we kind of just talk to them or talk about them. Uh, but stay tuned for information about that. That'll be coming from your teachers. And then I wanted to end again with all of my information. So there's my email, Instagram, and Twitter. If you need anything, if you are feeling incredibly overwhelmed, if you're not sure what's going on, if you blanked out and didn't hear anything I just said, I am very good about responding to emails. All you got to do is shoot me an email, let me know who you are, let me know your question, and I can absolutely help you. Um, again, I am really looking forward to being back in the building with you all. Um, keep your heads up. This is going to be fine. You guys are going to be absolute rock stars, and let me know if there's anything you need.